Shalom Aleichem to Sweden's friends. This year should be a special s'chus for Ritzuk Ha'am and Chana, Maris Hanna Miriam Bas Chana, Moshe Yudah Ben Tashadina, Lebracha Vatzlacha, B'chol Ma'asei Yedeim. It says in Perek Chof Aleph, Parts of Chof, B'chiyaki Yishe Se'avdo, Atzam Moser, B'shevet, Umeit Tachas Yad, and Nokom Yinokim. The man smites, hits his Eved, or his Amar, his female servant, his staff, and the person dies, then, nakom inakim, then she will surely be avenged. This person must die. In the olden days, it was okay to kill one year, slave. The Torah says, no, it's not. And therefore, there's a chi of misa for somebody who kills a slave. Achim yomo, yomayim yamod, lo yukam ki kaspo. But if he's still around after a day or two, then there's no vengeance for he is his money. Meaning that he didn't tend to kill him, and he's his property, his Ebed. So Mamela, there is no Chiyuv Misa if he doesn't uh, die soon after the Makkah. So the Lashon of Nekama, there will be vengeance. Nakom Yenake and Chiyuv Misa's based in is written in no place. So we have to understand why here it says this Lashon of Nakom Yenake when a person's chayv misa is based in, he is avenged. There's nekama. The Ezra talks about that here. The Rebbein Abachayi talks about that here. See there, also in the Targum Unkelos, he writes, is done, is done. That if somebody hits his servant, then he is going to be judged. And also, Viter, when it says, Lo, lo yukam, he also writes, Yis done, be judged. Why does Onkelos explain the Nekama, the Lashon Din? He should have said a Lashon of Nekama, it's revenge, not judgment. So, in order to explain that, first we have to understand. Some Yisodos in Chiyuv Misa Shel Harotzeach, based on the uh, brilliant explication of Rav David Yisak Manzetzah. The Ramban, in his Osafos to the Mitzvah Sesei, Mitzvah Sesei Yud Gimel, writes, and it's Tavenu Binyan Harotzeach, Achish and Ischayev Misa Bevezdin, Sheyivakshenu Goyal Adam. That we were commanded with regard to the Rotseach, after he was Chayav Misa Bevezdin, that the Gol Hadam, the relative who avenges the blood, should seek after him, pursue him, and take vengeance. How does he do that? By bringing him to the Beisden, and he will be killed according to his judgment. Or, if the Beisden can't do it, then the Gol Adam should take care of him himself. So, one of the Mepharshim on the Rambam writes that in Megillus Esther, that 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 the Rambam didn't enumerate this as a mitzvah's essay, the Ramban enumerates mitzvah's essay that the Rambam didn't enumerate. Why did the Ram, Rambam not enumerate this mitzvah of the Goal Hadam taking vengeance? It's because the Chiyuv Harigas Goal Hadam is Harotzeach, the obligation of the Goal Hadam to kill the murderer is it's one of the details of the mitzvah of how the Beisdin does it. Either they do it when he brings him to the Beisdin and then they do it, or he does it himself. But that's one of the pratim of the Harigas Rotzeach and Wotelis Ala Beisdin. So it's not an independent mitzvah. Rather, it's under the general rubric of 
the basin carrying out their punishment. And it's just a detail of that general mitzvah. And the Rambam already was mashrish b'sherish zayin. The Rambam and his shoroshim and his roots to the Sefer HaMitzvahs already taught us that we don't count dikduke mitzvahs, the minyan ha-mitzvahs, Look there in the Megillus Esther, the Tashvitz in the Zohar, he also writes this. Chora. It's true, it's correct, what we just said. And other Rabbi, now it's Shver and the Ramban, who did enumerate it as a mitzvah's essay, Bifnei Atzma. Why did the Ramban, yes, enumerate it? It's only a detail of the general Chi of Mises Beisden. It's only Prat Medina Hariga Ratzeach. And since you're not enumerating Dikduke mitzvah's, and the Ramban agrees with this Bishar Shashvi. It wasn't Masig on the Rambam. Kedarko Bishar Shashim. Why then does he insist that this is a mitzvah? The, the Rashvitz and the Zorak here already asked this in Simon Nun Gimel. Look there in Agon Rabbi Yochum Fishel Perla and the Rasag in Parashat Yud Zayin. So from this it would appear that the Ramban emphasizes Sheyirdoif Goyal Adam. He uses a Lashon of Redifa. The yin koim nikmasam take vengeance. And the Ramban writes, She yirtzach oisoy goyal hadam. So this lashon of Radifa, of Ritzicha, teaches us that this is mugdar, this is defined as a Ritzicha. Even though he's mischayev bebezin. Mischayev bebezin is not murder. The prison is mischayev bebezin. Bebezin carries out a punishment. It's not called murder. But here, the Ramban defines it as murder. And that's Takalosh and Akotsu, the Parashas Masse. Bamidbar, Paraklamid, hey, Posaklamid, called Maka Nefesh, Lefi Edim, Yirtzach as Harod Seach. That were Rod Seach, the Rod Seach. The Sifri says that it's talking about the Goyal Adam. It's talking about Rod Seach, but Mazed, like the Tosa Shantz and Makas Yudamid Beis writes, and the Tum Musim and Beis, you've cut and Beis. And it's talking about the Goyal Adam. But the Goyal Adam is Rotzeach. This person is a Rotzeach. So from here we have to say that there's an, an additional din in Rotzeach. That besides the, his Chiyuv Misa, which is Ke'ar, Kesha'ar, Chiyuv e Mises Beisdin, like anybody else who's Chayv Mises Beisdin, he also is Chayv Mises Beisdin. Melaik Tzi Nocha there's also a din nikama al arigas hanirzach. There's also this vengeance for killing the victim. And this nikama of the nirzach is shayr to the gol adam to do in place of the nirzach. Loshan aran sanhedrin daf memhei on the base she mitzvah biyad goyal adam laham miso. So you see, there's an Indian of Nekama, Beharigaz Goal Adam, that's the spilling of his anger. And therefore, it's defined as murder, because we're not talking about a Chi of Mises Beisdin, but rather, on the Din Ritzicha, Kinekama al Anirzach. It's vengeance, he's taking vengeance. So we use this different lush in order to denote that it's a different type of hariga. It's not a regular chiv mises beizdin. And therefore the Rambam emphasized this. He writes a lush of redifa, ritzicha, and nikama. Because from this emerges automatically that it's not a prat b'chi of misa so shal ha-rotzeach b'chi of mises beizdin sh'olav. It's not just a detail in the chiv misa of the rotzeach and his chiyuv misis based in that the Gaul Adam carries it out. No. Rather, it's an additional chiyuv that has nothing to do with his chiyuv misis based in. And he's not a shliach based in like the Tashvitz writes in the Zohar Rakia. He's not a shliach based in. And therefore, it's not a prat in the regular mitzvah of the based in carrying out their punishment. And therefore, the Rambandra Ram was correct. When he said that it's a mitzvah essay, bifnei atzma. That it's kiyum is b'reitzeach, hachay of misis beizdin. 
person is mekayim this mitzvah by killing this rotzeach who's chayim misis beizdin. And it's not the regular harigas rotzeach and will tell us on a beizdin like other chayim misis. But rather an additional din of the gol adam taking this vengeance. And even though we see in the Ramban that the Beisdin is Hore Gosam Kimishpatam, the Beisdin is the one who kills him and the Gol Adam brings him in. Not like the Rambam in Parak Alpha Sutzach Allah Beis, that Lechatchila the Gol Adam kills this Rutzach. No. The Ramban says, no, he just brings him to Beisdin. And the Yad Ramah agrees, the Ran Sanhedrin, that's Mehmeh with Beis. That's because of the Kiyum Hanakama. It's fulfilled even when he brings him to base din. But the Maisa, it's a separate din of Nekama. So we have the Chi of Mises base din, and then we have the Nekama of the Goyal Adam. And with this, we can understand what it says in Sanhedrin Mem Hayom base that we learn from a Pasuk. That if he doesn't have a goyal adam, based in his mom and a goyal adam. It's artificial goyal adam, not a real goyal adam. Based in his mom and a goyal adam. In order to be Makayim mitzvah's goyal adam, like the Yad Ramah writes there. So we have to understand. Since Lamaisi is not the goyal adam, how is this mitzvah fulfilled by somebody who's not the goyal adam? How is the mitzvah's goyal adam fulfilled by somebody who's not the goyal adam? Not Kesha. But like we said, there's a special din hariga of nikama that can only be done by the Gaul Adam. And it's only done by the Mises by the Mises Basin. And therefore, where Mamit somebody is the Gaul Adam, in other words, he's going to be involved in the din nikama and the mitzvah that we have by Rotzech. And this is going to be Arigas nikama, which is a mitzvah miyuchedes for Rotzech. And according to this, the Rambam, who does not enumerate this as a mitzvah's essay, Bifnei Atzma, in the Minyan HaMitzvah, the Chorah is Shver. Since it's a Din Miyuchat Shal Ariga Bifnei Atzma, Mitzad Goyal Adam, it's not a Prat and Ariga is based in. So first we started with the Rambam, then the Ramban has the Kashan. Should have enumerated it. Then we asked the Kashan and the Ramban, why should he have enumerated it? The Rambam is right, it's just a detail. And then we answered according to the Ramban, it makes a lot of sense because the Ramban holds that it's a separate Din. Ah! Oh, but so if it's a separate din, then why did the Rambam not enumerate it like the Ramban asked? The Yerucham Fisher Pella talks about this, or Sag, Parashim, Yud Zayin. So it would appear that the Rambam holds that the mitzvah of the Gaul Adam is not just to be Mekayim, the mitzvah of Nekama, but also the Chiyuv Beizdin is that the Gaul Adam should carry out this Misa. And Klape Zev, the Gaul Adam is the Shliach Beisdin. Like the Rashbit says in the Zohar Akiyah. So if you the Ramban, he's the Shliach Beisdin, it's part of the Mitzvah Beisdin. And this is Mavur in the Psukim, in Parshas Mase. Sham Paraklam, hey, Pasuk Yates, it says, Goyal Adam, who yomis is harayt sech before goy boy? Who yomisenu? The goal Adam who kills him. Also there in Pesach Chof Aleph, oy beiv veikau biyado viyamos kills him. Hatred. Moisiumas hamaka roit sechu. Goyal Adam yomis is harayt sech before goy boy. So nochamo, we see that it's the goal Adam who carries it out. Sifri, Pasuk Chof Aleph. It says, Goyal Adam Yomis, Lama Neymar. Why does it say? But look for Neymar, Goyal Adam Yomis. Shtei Tshoin. We already said in Pasuk Yitas, Goyal Adam is Memis. So why not come on Pasuk Yit Aleph, Chof Aleph? Umatam Elomer, Goyal Adam Yomis Aretzach. Shiyachol ain li ele shiyesh loy Goyal. I might think only if he has a Goyal Adam. Misha ain lo Goyal Minayin. How about if somebody doesn't have a Goyal Adam? Tamad loimar goyal adam ikol makom. Says in the pasuk in Chavalof again, goyal adam ikol makom. Even if you don't have a goyal adam, 
he's still killed. Lechora. Doesn't make sense. How are we marve from the fact that it says Goal Adam? That even if he doesn't have a Goal Adam, then we still kill him. And it doesn't say in the Sifri that we're a a Goal Adam. It says he without a Goal Adam. Goal Adam is not marve the Yomar. Your mamet a gol adam according to Sifri, like we learned earlier from the Gemara. He says, even without a gol adam, there's no gol adam. Also, the, the Brysa learns from Bepagobo, and the Sifri is learning from, from the extra gol adam. It's not the Pshat. So, how do we learn from gol adam that we kill him, even if there's no gol adam? Okay, we should learn from gol adam. Only if there's a gol adam, we can kill him. Otherwise, we don't. So based on what we said, it would appear as follows. That Pasuk Yutes is talking about Din Hariga HaMiyuchad L'Goyal Hadam Habam Itzad Nekama. It's talking about the special Din Hariga of the Goyal Hadam Mitzad Vengeance. And that's what it says. Who Yamis? He's the guy who does it. Mitzad Yosa Gol Adam, and he has a Ratzel in the So who Yamis? Who Yamisenu? It's the Gol Adam who carries it out out in the Kama. But in Pesach of Aleph, it doesn't say who Yamisenu. It says Gol Adam Yamis is Hu yimisenu. It says, Go al adam, hu yamisar itzeach. It's talking about this ratzon in a comma. Mitzad the go al adam. Dafka him. But in Pasuk Chaval, it doesn't say yimisenu. It just says, Go al adam, yamisar itzeach. Here we see, we see that the misis har itzeach, there is also a hariga. Of Mises based in the Mises Harotzeach. There is also a Hariga of Mises based in. And this Hariga as well will be fulfilled by the Gaul Adam. So Yates is talking about the Nikama. And Chof Aleph is talking about the din of the Beis Din. That first the Adam are supposed to take care of him that we acquired all Enri Mechoyim Mises Beis Din. But here it's different. Here, but Mises Beis Din of Rotzeach, it's the goal of Adam who does it, not the Adam. And in this apparently it's Shver. What do we need all this for? Tape clay. Why don't we just say that anyway, we didn't miss his nekama. He's mischayef. That the goal Adam has to kill him like we see in your test. What's added lemaisa in what we learn in Pasuk Chof Aleph that it's midin Mrs. based in? The end of the day, it's the goal Adam who has to do it. that the whole Pasuk is only telling us that besides the Chiyu of Mises Nekama, there is also a Chiyu of Mises Beisdin. And we learn this Chiddush by what it says in the Pasuk that there's an additional Kiyum on the Goal Adam that even the Chiyu of Mises Beisdin is carried out by the Gol Adam. So we still have a kashi. Lemaynaf gamina lemaisa with this chiddush. Okay. 
she's carrying out the chiyuv misis based in a pasuk of Tam. To say that, but either way, it's going to be the goal Adam. You need him anyway because the goal Adam has to carry it out. So why do you have to come out to the fact that you need him because he carries out the misis based in also? You need him for the misis goal Adam. So why do you need the extra limud? So we have to say that the the chiddush lemaisa of this pasuk is to be mechayev misa even if there's no goal Adam. And then it's not a Mises Nekam at all. Because a Mises Nekama is only Bahariga, ay they goal Adam. And only because the Chiddush of this Pasuk that the Mises based in Barat Seach is Mishayev requires that we kill him without a goal Adam. And there the Din is That it's like a shliach based in. Like what the Tashbit says. That the goal hadam is the shliach based in. And if there's no goal hadam, then he's killed by a shliach based in. Mitzad Chiyuv Mises based him. So that's what the Sifri teaches us, that we learn that he's killed with Chom Akom, even if there is no Gaul Adam, because we already learned in the Pasuk Yates, that he's killed by the Gaul Adam. So what does Chafalov teach us? That he's killed by the Gaul Adam, Mitzad Chiyuv Mises based him. And if there's no Gaul Adam, okay, so somebody else has to carry out the Chiyuv Mises based him. That's a different din. Din of the Chiyuv Mises based and Amitin that come of the Gaul Adam. Okay. Yishlanu o derech haruka b'siyata dishmaya. But uh, I am hoping Kaddish Baruch Hu should give us the koach and the moach that we should continue this mahalach in the next year. And Mirz uh, Hashem, we will continue singing the flaws of Mitaras Hashem. Shalom, shalom, sweetest and most beloved friend.